Okay, so you are an 8Q facing an AQ. Okay, it's a suspected sandbagger on KGS, 7Q versus 7Q. Gotcha. So you were down 100 points by the end. All right, let's figure out why. Okay, so you are white. Open corners, open sides, Chinese opening. Okay, big moves. Okay, so far perfect. Mm. All right, fight time. Unsettled and surround. Uh, you don't Atari in win windmills. Normally save the stone and then run. Then surround or something. Normally no be in windmills. Uh oh. That's a lot of cut it points. Yeah, just surround. Just surround. Just surround, just surround. What? <laughs> what is this move? Okay. Just net. Net the cutting stones. Just kill the cutting stones. Okay, uh, I want to cut this, but you have bad liberties. So maybe just ladder. Oh, you did. Okay. I really want to cut this. I think I would. I think I'd just go here. He goes here. I cut. And he runs. And then I Atari. And then they go here. And he goes here, and then I go here, and I win the game. Because the black group's dead. Just kill the cutting stones and keep them cut. cut like, attack and defense! Cutting points! It's cuts! Cuts and liberties! Cuts and liberties! <laughs> yeah, I understand that. But, at the very least, you can threaten to cut them, right? And then just capture. Just get a Pinocchio in the center, in Sentai. Because he still has a cutting point, so he has to fix, and then you can go back to surrounding him. Or play a big move. Like here or here. Or shoulder hit even, because you have a Pinocchio in the freaking center. <laughs> so, that'd be good. Uh, here, I would table shape. So that way I can get the hot ice. This is unnecessary. This is greedy. You're not trying to kill. Just surround. Actually, he has some eyes right here, doesn't he? Okay, maybe it's fine. This is this might be fine cuz he he might be able to live in like almost sentai. Okay. Use your Panuki to destroy the right side while attacking this, or gain thickness. So you want to surround. Uh, this is a little weird. This is very, very far from the fight. You can maybe do this or this. And go in. I don't know. I'm not. You're very far from the fight. Shoulder hit. If you want to do a leaning attack. If you want to lean, then lean. If you want to attack, attack. Don't be in the middle like this that doesn't either one. It's too soft. Ooh. Yeah, don't push. Just double peep. 
Just double peep. Oh, you don't see the double peep? This is this is really big. Cutting points. Then why did you push if you're not gonna double peep? Why did you take your liberty if you're not gonna double peep? This is a bad move if you're not gonna cut. Just lowers your liberty. Alright, uh, so you wanna invade. I really wanted to use this Panuki. You didn't use this Panuki at all. Because you didn't, you never got a Moyo in the center using this Panuki. So, uh, you never actually activated that Panuki. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Just live. Can this live? That's a question. Maybe not. So maybe just here? Yeah, that's much simpler. So, the problems with invasions is invasions are heavily reliant on reading. So you have to know how to get the two eyes before you before you invade. You have to know what your plan is for two eyes. Cut. Oh no, not cut. You have to live first. That's not living. That's the life. This is life. You gotta know that life and death shape. It's a three-three variation. Tiger's mouth on the first line is immediate peep. Yeah. So now you know some variations. Just expand your eye space. But this first line, Tiger's Mouth, is a terrible, terrible shape for eyes. Because that second line peep is just too good. And it just immediately kills you. This is not... This is mu this is very big. That's that's your points. This is a bad exchange. It's just Aji Keshi at, at best. At worst, you lose points. And you're actually making him strong against these stones in the center that are floating right now. Yeah, bad peep. good this is painful this is very painful Nobi, don't make a broken shape just keep your eye space as best you can this is painful that does nothing yeah it does i really want this double peep like, if he's cut off, it's a different story. If he's not out and he's completely surrounded, this is all a different story. Yeah, this actually helped him. Ah, that's so painful. You lost it. You got nothing, but you got one corner from every all of your center stones. Very, very small profit. It's still not bad, though. If you Tanuki, the game's still playable. The problem is you got the corner and then lost the top. So you actually got nothing, no profit from this attack. Because the profit you got got canceled out when you let him in the top. So... Yeah. Yeah. Surround and cut. Surround and cut. Surround and cut. Don't make it so complicated. Stop playing moves. You're not gaining any value. He's already alive. This is already blocked with the tiger's mouth. Tanuki, 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 Tanuki. This doesn't work, right? Oh, maybe it does. Hmm. <sighs> Tricky.
Why can't you block? Because that doesn't work. So he can take your 3-3. Three, three. Okay, 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 that's fine. 3-3's three, big. What? No! The cutting stones! Oh dear! Oh no, 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 no. You gotta save the cutting stones! That's 10 points! Oh man! Oh, and you responded! That's 20 points! Now, this is 10 points in Sente, so it doubles the value. That's a 20 point mistake. You've got a Tanuki! Go play a big move. Attack a stone, invade his area. Oh man! That is a blunder. And now Black's definitely ahead. No, you're yeah, you're you don't have time to defend. I understand that there's there's a cutting point there, but you have a Panuki. Panukis are strong. You cannot waste the move defending right now. You are losing. You have to go play a big move. That's small. Tanuki. Good. Is this really that big? This doesn't threaten anything. He got two big moves now. So he's up by two big moves. Okay, you're going to reduce. Um, you don't ever play this move, though, to reduce. Against, against this shape, you play this triangle. One of those three moves. Those are your three options. The squares options, those are the bad moves. Just helps your opponent. So if you want to reduce, you do this. That's how you reduce. This one. You you gotta give him a little bit more value. So you, you actually gave him a little bit more. What do you do at M3 after, oh, after the peep? You expand your eye space. The cap? Oh, thank you for the raid! Go, go, Gooplet. Welcome, everyone. Let me know if you have any questions. What cap? Where's the cap? Cap is a cap is here or here. Do you mean a shoulder hit or something? I don't know. I'm not sure what move you're talking about. Uh, this is too passive. Go, go, power. Mm -hmm. Tanuki, get a big move. There we go. There we go. Uh, shoulder hit would be a little bit more Sentai. If you want to build this area. Man, your emotes are so much better than mine. Okay, so he's trying to cut you off. So you want to run away while staying connected and cut him off if you can. That is not staying on the weak group. Stay on the weak group. Yeah. See, so even if you do that, you get off the weak group. So, here. Stay on the weak group. Do something to stay on the weak group. Maybe make a base. Just stay on the weak group. <laughs> Classy rip. Knight's moves are cuttable. This is Ajikashi just walking his points. 
Walking his points. You actually gave him 20 points here. If you're going to sack, then sacrifice. This move is not good. You actually gave him this entire area. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, like maybe 15 points. And Sente. Oh, man. You've got to stop losing Sente when you give your opponent points. Don't give your opponent points and definitely don't give them points in Sente or Gote. This is just not taking your forcing moves. Do that first, and now I can't Atari. Tanuki, this is not Sente at all. There's no value here. Monkey jump. Cut the stones off. Get some points. Get some points. There's a double Atari. 3-3 three, three in the bottom right will not work right now. It's dead. This is... I don't know what you're doing right now. You're not playing proper moves. You're missing very simple variations. There's a double Atari right here. So why would you not know B? And then you fix it, and instead of fixing the stone with a lot of points... So that's just four points. This is two, four, six, eight, nine points. This is cuttable. You're losing points left and right. Like, like almost every single move is negative value after move like 100. Okay, so we're here, right? So this is zero points, zero points, zero points. Okay, and then we capture the counting stones, cool. And then you play a little blunder of a misread. So here you gain six points. So this is like negative six points. Pass. So zero points, zero points. Zero points. Okay, now you're reducing. And then you jump back, so zero points. Because you, you reduce the Gote. Okay. Okay, now you play a big move. And he tries to cut you off, and then you sacrifice the big move. So this is all negative, uh, what was it, 15 points? Negative 15 points. Okay. Zero points. Negative four points. Negative five points. Negative three points. Two points. Oh, that, I mean, this is fine. Um, if this was a problem, it would have been bigger earlier, but whatever but is he alive hold on hold on hold on hold on is he alive if i go here let's assume he lives or whatever up here he's definitely alive over here Yeah, okay, so he's alive over here. Which means... If I cut these stones off and take his eye right here, it's Sente. Kothrits. What? 
You can cut right here. Oh, there's a cutting point. So if you just start from this side and then connect, he's dead. So negative seven or eight points. This is not Sente Yose. This is your own territory. You're supposed to block. Negative two or three points. So I don't think that your opponent was a sandbagger. I think just you just kept playing negative value moves. Like half of your moves lost you points. Instead of gaining points, you keep losing points. So I want to say the big thing that you got to work on is get rid of all of these negative value moves. Like almost half of your moves in the second half of the game are losing you points. So I would really, really focus on reviewing your games and identifying what moves are losing you value and just do anything else that gains value. If you can do that, I think your game will drastically improve. But right now you have a very bad habit in the second half of the game. And you have a very bad habit of not gaining value with your attacks. You're not gaining value with your moves. So your attack, you were kind of all over the place too and you were having trouble gaining value. Really focus on just getting value and then try to get value in Sentai. But almost half of your moves are giving your opponents point, uh, giving your opponent points. Like this area and this area. For this area. In this area and then your attack you took this area and lost this area so at what point do you gain value this is why you lost by 100 points I really advise you to look at your your own games and then watch game reviews of people around you uh, that I've reviewed of people around your level and see how I tell them to gain value with their moves, how to attack, how to defend, how to make a big move, how to reduce, and just really focus on playing those big moves and gaining profit. Even if it's just a little bit of profit, it, it, just gain profit. Make sure your moves are positive value. Because right now you have a big hab uh, a bad habit and it's probably gonna be a barrier for you. So it's gonna take a few weeks to break past this barrier if you're lucky, right? If you're dedicated, this barrier is gonna, is gonna be a beast to get past but my advice watch game reviews around your level 9q to 5q review your own games and really start identifying and training your eyes to identify negative value moves and then end your games take that training and try to apply it yeah you're definitely at a barrier right now and it's because you have some bad habits um, and the thing with barriers are barriers come about because of bad habits and then you try to do other stuff to get past that barrier which creates more bad habits and it's a very vicious cycle this is how people get stuck for years because they hit a barrier and instead of taking some steps back you need to actually a lot of people, um, instead of taking some steps back to get past that barrier, a lot of people try to do extra stuff, which creates even worse habits, which makes it even harder to get past that barrier. This is why I'm always about teaching the basics. It makes the barriers that much less likely and that much easier to pass. So really take a step back on and just pretty much redo your, your, your moves from the ground up because you have the reading and you have the experience and the knowledge, but you're lacking your basics. You've forgotten your basics. Go back to basics, rewatch all the tutorials if you have to, rework your game from the ground up, and get rid of all these bad habits that you've created 
on yourself, and I think it'll really help you out. It'll take some time. It's not going to happen overnight. Barriers can't get passed overnight. It'll take some time, but I think with good discipline and specifically focusing on making your moves positive value, that's actually pretty good. Single digit Q in four or five months is pretty good. But yeah, right now you have some really bad habits. Focus on fixing those, and the bad habits are basically negative value moves. Review your games, watch game reviews, and just focus on making positive value exchanges. And I think you can start winning again. Yeah, I don't think your opponent sandbagged you. I think you sandbagged yourself. <laughs> yeah, you blamed it on your opponent. Like, man, my opponent keeps destroying me. But you keep, like, giving him grenades, and you're like, man, this guy's so strong. He keeps blowing me up. Where does he get all these grenades? And then you keep tossing him grenades. <laughs> like, maybe you're the Mario Kart that drops grenade items behind him as he drives. And then everyone keeps picking up the grenades and just throwing them at you. And they're like, how do they get all these grenades? But you're the one... <laughs> I mean, he probably just got done playing. He probably didn't just didn't care. I mean, the result isn't as important as what we learned from it. Oh my gosh, the top left is dead. How that? How did that happen? Cuts and liberties, guys! Oh, that's your eye! You made it a false eye. Block. Block. I don't think he's that much stronger than you. I think you just defeated yourself. You lost your eye. And empty triangles have bad liberties. Empty triangles have bad liberties. Ouch, ouch, ouch. You got you got distracted and tunnel visioned. Ouchie, 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 ouchie. That is painful. Oh, you thought you were winning here? Yeah, you're not seeing the board clearly at all. There's no way you could be winning. Well, no, like, like you, you thought you were winning before this corner died, according to the comments. Yeah, you weren't seeing the board clearly. You got to look at those exchange rates better. Hmm. Yeah, but even in the attack, even during the attack, it, you maybe thought you were ahead, but you actually got no value because you canceled it out with the top. Yeah, tough game, tough game. You're you're at a barrier right now. Right now, your opponents are not beating you. You're beating yourself. So I would I would just focus on your own moves right now before you start learning how to punish your opponent again. Focus on your own moves. You're defeating yourself way more than they are right now. It sucks, but that's the truth. But hopefully hopefully this will help you get started passing the barrier. Yeah, I mean, he was attacking the left side harshly, but he never got the profit from it. So he actually never, like, the AI will say he's ahead because the AI can get profit. But he never actually gained the profit from the attack. Even though there was a weak group, when did he actually ever gain the points? So that's why he never took the lead in my mind. He never actually gained that lead. And as soon as he took something, he immediately lost something. 
He never actually gained a lead. So for me, he was never winning. The AI would say, yeah, because you could attack that. You definitely had control of the game, but you never actually utilized it very well.